Have you ever wondered what a volcanic eruption looks like from space? Today we're counting down our pics of the most impressive volcanoes seen by satellites. Number 13, Mount Fuji, Japan. Mount Fuji, also known as Fujisan, is an iconic stratovolcano located on Honshu Island. It's the tallest mountain in Japan with a height of 3,776 meters and is considered the country's most sacred sites. This image shows Mount Fuji and its surroundings in radar vision. The volcano has erupted numerous times throughout history, with the most recent notable eruption occurring in 1707. Fuji is a product of the subduction zone that straddles Japan with the Pacific Plate and the Philippine Plate being subducted under the Eurasian Plate. Number 12. Mount St. Helens, USA Mount St. Helens is a stratovolcano in Washington State. It's known for its eruption in 1980, which was one of the deadliest and most destructive volcanic events in the history of the United States. The eruption dramatically changed the landscape surrounding the volcano. It caused a massive landslide and large volumes of ash that blanketed the surrounding area, killing humans, plants and trees. Together with Mount Adams to the north and Mount Hood to the south, Mount St. Helens forms an active part of the Ring of Fire, which surrounds the Pacific Ocean. Number 11, Mauna Loa, Hawaii. Mauna Loa is considered one of the world's largest active volcanoes. Meaning Long Mountain in Hawaiian, it rises to over 4,000 meters above sea level and constitutes half of the island's area. It likely emerged above sea level around 300,000 years ago and has been growing rapidly upwards since then. On the 27th of November 2022, it erupted for the first time in 38 years. This satellite image shows the erupting volcano with glowing hot lava and towering plumes of smoke. Number 10. Fagra del Sviat, Iceland. Fagra del Sviat, also known as Beautiful Valley Mountain, is an active shield volcano on the Reykjanes Peninsula in southwest Iceland. It started erupting on the 19th of March 2021, marking the first eruption in the area in over 800 years. This image shows the eruption in 2021, which lasted six months. It was classified as an effusive eruption, meaning that lava flowed out rather than explosively ejected. Number 9. Kamchatka Peninsula, Russia The Kamchatka Peninsula, known as the Land of Fire and Ice, is home to more than 300 volcanoes, many of which are active. This makes it one of the most volcanic and geothermally active regions in the world. One of the most notable is the Kluchevskaya Sopka, one of the highest active volcanoes in the Northern Hemisphere, rising to a height of 4,750 meters. The Bezimiani volcano rises to a summit elevation of 2,882 meters. The name translates to no name. Number 8. Mount Vesuvius, Italy. Mount Vesuvius is a stratovolcano located in southern Italy near Naples. It's considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world due to its history of devastating eruptions, including the ones in 79 AD that buried Pompeii and Herculaneum. When Italy suffered high temperatures during a drought in 2017, wildfires broke out, ravaging the slopes of Mount Vesuvius. The huge plume of smoke led some to believe that Vesuvius was erupting again. If we take a closer look using Sentinel 2's shortwave infrared channel, we can identify heat sources emitted from the fires. Smoke is visible in blue and is mostly transparent, as it doesn't absorb the infrared light as a normal cloud would. This image has been processed in a way that highlights vegetation in bright red. Burn scars from the wildfires can be seen in brown. Number 7. Volcán de Fuego, Guatemala 
Volcán de Fuego, Spanish for volcano of fire, is an active stratovolcano known for its frequent explosive eruptions. The volcano has a long history of eruptions, with its most recent notable eruption was in 2018. This multi-temporal composite image is made up of three separate radar scans. The lava flow from the eruption is visible in pink on the southeast slope of the volcano. The rest of the colors in the image represent differences in vegetation and soil between acquisitions. At the center top, the volcanic lake Atitlan is visible in black. Water bodies reflect the radar signal away from the satellite, which makes it appear dark. The Copernicus Sentinel 5P satellite also measured the sulfur dioxide plume spewing from the Fuego volcano. Number 6. Mount Mayon, Philippines. Mount Mayon is a stratovolcano on the island of Luzon. Mayon has frequent, moderately explosive eruptions and is the most active volcano in the Philippines. Dubbed a perfect volcano because of its symmetry, Mayon has a classical conical shape built up by many layers of hardened lava. This image has been processed in a way that reveals a pink line running down the southeast flank, which matches the flow of lava seen in optical images. The predominant bright green in the image corresponds to vegetation, the lighter green and pink to towns and cities, and the blue to cultivated fields. Number 5. Emi Kusi, Chad Reminiscent of an artist's palette, this is the Emi Kusi volcano in northern Chad. The Emi Kusi volcano is not only the highest mountain in Chad, but also the highest in the Sahara, standing at 3,415 meters. Emi Kusi is a pyroclastic shield volcano. Calderas, or depressions, can be seen nestling in the cap of the volcano. These are the result of the magma erupting quickly and the surface collapsing into the partially emptied magma chamber. The image has been processed in a way that shows differences in the minerals of the rocks. For example, green around the cone of the volcano shows old lava, while sandstone appears in shades of red and yellow. Number 4. Cumbra Vieja, Spain On the 19th of September 2021, the Cumbra Vieja volcano on the Spanish island of La Palma erupted. Lasting 85 days, it's the longest known and most damaging volcanic eruption on La Palma since records began. This image shows the lava erupting from the volcano. The lava flow stretched six kilometers long and even reached the sea, destroying thousands of buildings and homes along its path. These images have been processed using Sentinel-2 shortwave infrared channel to highlight lava flow. This image shows the sulfur dioxide emissions captured by Sentinel-5P moving over the Atlantic Ocean towards Central America. Number 3. Mount Taranaki, New Zealand Mount Taranaki is a dormant stratovolcano in the Taranaki region on New Zealand's North Island. This multi-temporal image captured by Sentinel-2 shows us a wider view of the volcano and Egmont National Park. The unique shape of the park comes from its protection in 1881, which specified that the forest reserve would extend in a 9.6 kilometer radius from the volcano's summit. The boundary between protected and non-protected areas is clear from space, as we see the difference between the green, densely forested area and the surrounding agricultural landscape. The cone is visible in bright blue, which represents snow. Number 2. Galapagos Islands, Ecuador the Galapagos Islands are a volcanic archipelago situated some 1,000 km west of Ecuador in the Pacific Ocean. Repeated volcanic eruptions and ongoing seismic activity have helped form the rugged mountain landscape of the island. The largest island, Isabella, is visible in the center. Its seahorse shape is the result of the merging of multiple large volcanoes into a single landmass. Two of these volcanoes, Ecuador and Wolf, lie directly on the equator. Number 1. 
Anak Krakatoa, Indonesia. Anak Krakatoa is a volcanic island located in the Sundra Strait in Indonesia. Half of the island collapsed under the sea after an eruption in 1883 that killed more than 100,000 people. An eruption on the 22nd of December 2018 reshaped the island once again, as seen in this image. Radar scans were taken of the archipelago to monitor changes in the island's topography. This image was taken before the eruption, while this one shows the island collapsing into the sea. A few days later, we can see the partial regrowth of Anak Krakatoa caused by persistent volcanic activity. A month later, the image shows the island in its new shape. Lava emitted from the volcano completely redesigned Anak Krakatoa, with a small crater lake now visible in the island center. But that wasn't the end. Satellite images also captured its most recent eruption in 2022, which sent a massive plume of ash over 3,000 meters above sea level. Well, do you agree with our list? Let us know in the comments below which volcanoes you want to see from space. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos. Until the next time.